Hello, me hearties. It's just me, Scotty McClue, the one stop broadcaster, first lord of the internet, a celebrity pop up for you this afternoon just to say hi. And of course, to let you know that uh, we'll be not on at nine o'clock tonight because of the big interview on television. So there we are. So I think a lot of you might be watching that. So what I thought I'd do is pop up just now. Have you been to Perth in Scotland, says Abigail? Yes, Abigail. I know Perth very, very well. I used to work in Pitlochry and I've worked in Perth as well. So uh, I certainly know it very well indeed. Absolutely. So there we are. American do Jew Brits are so racist, not letting Megan in the royal family. So there isn't really any of that American dude. I think there's a lot of misunderstanding here. And Scotty McClue knows a tremendous amount about the monarchy. So I am your man when it comes to monarchy. One side of Glasgow should be the shame of themselves, letting everyone down over the weekend. Yes, it was shocking. I think we should ban football altogether as a result of the weekend behavior that's what i would like to see so there you are just put an end to football just that's it no more football after lockdown no football that's it ban the lot so there we are uh, it's uh, my birthday can you say happy birthday yes i can caius Happy birthday and dinky doo from Scotty McClue. So there we are. So I'm going to be watching the interview tonight along with you. We may do some live pop-ups during the evening, but I just wanted to let you know I'll pop up just now and say hi to you. Dinky doo, Scotty. So the wonderful J-Dog Gaming. J-Dog, good to have you with us. Early evening pop-up tonight, of course. Uh, so there we are. Adam Preston, I'll ignore that. You can go and grow up. There we are. Hello, Scotty Dinky doo. What's the funniest face you can pull? You're looking at it. So there we are. It's Irish politics. What's Irish politics? So there you go. What are you talking about? Now, the Americans need to be learning about the monarchy. We had people on at lunchtime commenting on the television who know nothing about the monarchy and they were going, I, I fail to understand why it's relative, it's relevant uh, and relative values as well, why it's relevant in the 21st century. Now, these people are just daft. The monarchy will always be relevant in any century because it represents the crown and that's our symbol of authority no matter where you're from right all over the world fantastic buenas tardes senor angelo lovely to have you with us si, buenas tardes absolutely so who have we got here um Todo bien, todo bien, absolutely. Hello, how are you? From Karim, Karim, we are wonderful. Early evening pop up tonight just to say hi. Guys, can you all follow me? Hey, from Oban, says Sandy. Ah, Sandy, are you up the Balakin Re or are you down at Wee Ganavan? There we are. Or are you out the Kilmore and Kilbride Road? Fantastic. Uh, no, uh, Hugh. Just go and grow up and stop being such an idiot. You should be ashamed to be you, Hugh, coming out with stuff like that. What would your mum and dad think if they saw that? They'd be shocked. Okay. They were after this, Scotty Dink, you know. Kareem, hello, says J Dog. Can't wait for an independent Scotland. Move away from the aristocracy. Danny, there'll be no moving away from aristocracy in an independent Scotland. We are taking the Queen with us. She is our sovereign lady. So there you are. You need to get that right. So there we are. Notification. Stop writing cack. There you go. We'll just block your cack notification. Right there we are. He's away. What an idiot. Okay, who else have we got here? So there we are. That's fine. I think my opinion is correct about Meghan and Harry being propaganda. Yes, but J Dog, propaganda for what? This is what we need to look at, you know. Uh, so dinky do. Um, so there we are. How fantastic is that? Are you watching the opera? interview tonight. I think it's Oprah. Oprah Winfrey. Yes, we'll watch it tonight, so I'll not be popping up tonight, although the whole Meghan and Harry thing is almost as big as Scotty McClue. It's quite incredible. I thought to myself, this is huge. It's as big as Scotty McClue. Scotty McClue, how do you do? Shrill waff. 
Fantastic. She's our queen as a result of the Union and English colonialism. No, 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 no. Nothing to do with the Union. Nothing to do with colonialism. She's our queen because Scotland chose the monarch in 1603, and Scotland's had a monarch for 2,347 years and will not be changing. And if you read your declaration of our broth, it's the aristocracy writing to His Holiness the Pope in Rome, asking permission to choose their monarch from one of their own aristocratic number. Have you got that, Danny? There's so much ignorance out there. Thank God for Scotty McClure. I say, otherwise, you'd all be wandering about not knowing if you're in Weems Bay or Mumbai. So there we are. Are you the King of England? No, Ben. I'm the first Lord of the Internet. So there's another reason we don't want to lose our internet aristocracy. It's propaganda for the Americans as they know nothing about the royal family. Ah, right, j Dog. I see where you're coming from. But what are they hoping to do with that? Adopt Harry and Meghan. So dinky-doo number one, as big as you, dinky-doo big fossil. Hey, Scotty. Early pop-up, Scotty told myself not to come back, but I'm here now. No, Stephen Drummond, I was thinking about you today. Don't panic. Uh, all above board. But I was thinking, if you choose to leave, it means the trolls win, right? The trolls then get a foothold because they've chased away all the thoroughly decent, intelligent people. What would be the point in that? So you stay, Stephen, along with other decent, intelligent people, and we chase away the trolls. We hunt them. Uh, there we are. Scotty, come on after the interview to give your views. Yes, I think that might be a good idea, Kareem, but it will be late because I think it's two hours. So it could be 11 o'clock before I pop up to give the rules. Guys, can you all follow me, please? Very, very important and share and have brought new videos for you today. So there's a lot of stuff just been uploaded for you. So for goodness sake, make sure you watch it. Otherwise... What would be the point? James the First, John Young, nothing gets past you, 1603. The Union, Danny, was not till 104 years later. Are you with it? A wee dinky do, how she says Jamesy. Jamesy dinky do, I'm on the hoops. So Scotty McClure the First, absolutely. Can you ban me? I could ban you, only boy but I'm not one to abuse my power. So we'll leave you where we are just now. There we are, fantastic. Dinky do, Lord of Scotland, never mind the internet. <laughs> Which is the true religion? All religions have their own truth, right? The word of God is the ultimate truth. All religions actually come back to God. So there we are. Incredible. Get the Americans on their side so they accept them. Oh, I see what you mean, J-Dog Gaming. Well, the way to get the Americans on their side, the Americans are very envious of the monarchy because they are stuck with a republic. They did offer the throne of America after the War of Independence in, what was it, 1776 or something like that. And they did offer the throne to Bonnie Prince Charlie, who should have been the monarch of Scotland at the time. Brighton Geezer says, Scotty McLuhan, Red Rose Radio. There we are, Dinky Doo, 97.4. Dinky Doo says, Meg. So there we are, Zach, stop talking nonsense. He brilliant, thanks. FM McClure. Yes, says Bud. <laughs> Dinky -doo. Hi, Scotty. Hi, vegan teacher. Thank you, -doo. a very warm welcome to everybody who's just joined us. Follow me, guys. Share as much as you can. If you're sending me diamonds, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the diamonds. Some of you have been very, very kind and sent me all sorts of gifts. There's, uh, there's, there's even coins and things like that. Tremendous. Wonderful. But that's not the point. The point is we're coming up. You're actually famous. You're on Wikipedia. Of course I'm famous. That's not a secret. So they are fit like Scotty McClough. Robbie, I've just uploaded you.
Uh, you and I cracking on with the Doric. Fantastic. The bonnet has spoken. Well, absolutely, somebody has to speak. And I've uploaded a minute on the monarchy for you. I mean, don't get me started. So there we are. Ben, I dinky do. We don't give opinions on politicians. Scott, I used to listen to you on the radio. Brilliant man. Paul Doc, I thank you, sir. Very kind of you. Megan couldn't name the person in the family who was racist. Yes, but it's very, very interesting, these sort of things. You've got to make sure everything is within context. You know, that's the thing. It's a strange, very strange question. Think about it. We've never heard anybody ask that before. Were you ever asked to do a cameo on Still Game? No, Kevin, I wasn't. And a lot of people have suggested I was actually the original inspiration for Still Game. Scotty McClure was on before Still Game in Scotland in 1994. And somebody said, oh, I Still Game, yeah, you were, uh, that's where everybody would have got the idea. Do you like football? I don't really know anything about it. How's things, mate? Myself and Jim Stephen Gibb, amazing. Uh, she either doesn't want to mention who it is, or it's completely made up. Well, we don't know, J Dog. It's, uh, it's but it's a very strange question. I can't imagine anybody asking it. So there we go. And the other thing, there's another side to this. The question I would ask is: It's our royal family. The Queen is our sovereign lady, and uh, you know she is sovereign throughout. Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. And I believe the Irish crown is still around in the background as well, you see. So there we are. So very, very interesting. Now, here's the other side of it, guys. When you are, when your, your youngsters, yes, your offspring are looking for a mate, should you make it clear to them in the monarchy that they should look for you're effectively recruiting for the film? So you need somebody who's very tough and who knows their stuff. Now, it's interesting because you've got the love thing here as well. And love is very important. But you used to have, well, you still will have, what's called a morganatic marriage. And things like that can mean that you're not actually in line to the throne or whatever, you know, but you can marry your soulmate, but they're not actually royal, you see? So you could have that sort of, there's a whole load of law surrounding this. It's incredible. But I'm just wondering if the royal family should say, look, we can't have somebody from another um, background in here, uh, unless they, they're really going to be able to cope with the pace. Because you look at all the royals. They're all trained in the military. Yes. Harry and Wills, they were uh, military people. Yes. You can see that when you saw them immediately saluting the war memorials as the car passed on the way to William and Kate's wedding. Now, of course, they said that Kate was effectively what's known as a commoner. But William and Kate are just outstanding. They really are incredible. You know, and they're very, very deeply caring and thoughtful people, and they're very committed to the monarchy. So it's an interesting thought about recruiting for the monarchy when you're taking on a mate who... Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Lovely to see you. You don't have to run away. Nice to see you. Thank you, do. Oh, no. Hi. Hi. Where, where are you from? Hi. England. London. 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 Right. We love London. Yeah. Fantastic. Tell me, out of interest, why did you two dial in and then panic when it popped up? You're oh! You are. What? When, it pop, <laughs> when it popped up, you thought, oh, it's actually. Um, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> what a laugh. Take care of yourselves, Nikki. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
There we go, they panicked, absolutely. No way! So there we are, dinky do. Uh, Zenitsu, grow up and come out of the gutter, you little midden. We'll just dump you, we'll block Zenitsu for being in the gutter. There we go, bye-bye. There we are, we need to get out of all this thinking. So there we are, very, very strange. Uh, are you Russian? <laughs> so there we are. What have we got here? Um, now, what have we got here? Look at the smile. There we are. Uh, so that's that. Let's get rid of Zenitsu. has gone. Good. Fantastic. These sort of low lives, when you're talking to people, you know, I mean, very, very silly coming up with that. You Santa, says me, dinky do. There we are. We certainly cannot pick star. Uh, what we can do with you is uh, just dump you because you're a dafty. Right, Pixter's one of these trolls that doesn't realize this is quality. So we'll just block him. There we are, end of Pixter. Never hear of him again. Fantastic. Now, can I get lots of follows and lots of likes and lots of sharing, please? Very, very important. And um, I'm going to block our Irish friend for shouting out all this political stuff. There we are, no good at all. Right, he's gone. Fantastic. Now, we, he was told not to, but he insists on doing it. Very, very daft. So there we are. Back again, says Harry. Thank you, Harry. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome, I say. So there we go. Jason, I don't doubt it for a second. Scotty, I thought you only went live at 9 p.m. No, D, we're not going live at 9 p.m. tonight because the Harry and Meghan interview is on, and I would quite like to see it. Hi from Northern Ireland, from Derry. Dinky do from Derry by the banks of the file. Will you be watching the interview tonight? Yes, I think it'll be interesting just to see it. And we might pop up afterwards and we can discuss it. You talk a lot of nonsense. So do you, Reeson. Uh, but I talk a lot more sense than you. There we are. Everybody share the video, please. What channel's the interview on? It's an ITV in the UK. So there we are. Fantastic. Guys, I've uploaded some videos for you today. There's a minute on the monarchy for you. Hi from Kerry in the Republic of Ireland, the Ring of Kerry. I know it so well. I used to go down to Clonakilty and Killarney. Oh, there. Shalom. Shalom. Uh, any tips on getting a beard like you? Don't shave, Frenny. That's the first thing. What's the topic? Says Crab Fishing. We're talking about the interview tonight. Uh, very, very interesting. Here's Ellen. Hello, how are you? How are you? Lovely to see you. Thank you for popping up. That's okay. How have you been? Excellent. Where are you? Are you in? Are you down south? I'm Birmingham. Birmingham. Lovely, lovely. We like it. Warwickshire, a very beautiful part of the world. Yeah, it definitely is. Super oh, Tell me this. How did you find us, Ellen? Do I just pop up? Yeah. Good. Right, because I'm quite new to all this. Oh. Uh, we only started last week, but everybody's loving it, so we just carry on doing it. Are you from Scotland? Yes, absolutely. But I've worked all over the country. Ah, uh, where from in Scotland? Uh, from Glasgow. Oh my gosh, my yeah. friend's from Glasgow. Oh wow, well ask her if she's heard of Scotty McClue, because I used to broadcast in the Midlands as well. Oh nice. Yeah, we were in a station and uh, we go down to the Midlands, yes, down to Derby and Nottingham and down to Birmingham, oh, yeah. down to Brum. Fantastic. Right. Very nice, very nice part of the world. <laughs> Wonderful for engineering. Say again. Wonderful for engineering. Oh yeah. You can get yeah. you get your car fixed in Birmingham, no problem. Yeah, you can. <laughs> and everybody's a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely talking to you. Thanks for joining us. Stay safe. Stay safe, Bye. dinky do. Bye. What a super lady. There we are stuff. Hello from Kenya. Jane, lovely to have you with us. Are you from Nairobi? We've got Gloucestershire on here. Wonderful. 
Hello from Liverpool in England, says Lewis. Dinky do, Lewis. Everyone, dinky do. This is the guy that wrote Game of Thrones. Yes, you popped up on my screen too. So there we are. Well, we're just sort of learning all about it, you see. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, so we did that one. Yeah, definitely going to watch it. And that way I can make up my own mind. This is the Harry and Meghan interview tonight, guys. Fantastic stuff. Now, can you all please follow me? I know you don't like people going, oh, he's asking us to follow him. Yeah, very, very important that you do because uh, this is very, very big. Absolutely incredible. And as I say, we've only been doing it just over a week. So there we go. And uh, everybody's loving it. Rangers and Celtic, watch the two teams play and then make up your own mind. That's the best advice I can give you. So there they are. Fantastic. How many viewers do you have? Well, Jason, it's very interesting. We've got about 50, 60 at the moment. But what happens is thousands watch by the end of the cast, end of the live stream. Thousands watch, but only a few hundred follow. Now, I know the trolls won't follow because they're on just seeing if they can spoil something beautiful. But they're not going to succeed because they are idiots and they live in the gutter. That's the level they're at. They're used to dealing with junk on the internet, so they think that you just attack something beautiful. Not happening. So there we are. Uh, so uh, what I've had the other night was 15,000 watched the live stream. So there you are. So it just lets you know how big it is. Shout out for the boys. <laughs> Dinky do. Yes, Deaton, no problem at all. That's wonderful. Thank you, our guys. So there we are. Uh, love you, Scotty. Listen to you as a kid on the old radio station, says Stuart. Absolutely, Stuart. That was massive. Absolutely massive. Huge stuff. Very, very crazy, guys. Uh, yes, yes, absolutely, Mother. Uh, so there we go. <laughs> Read my name, please. It's my birthday. So there we are. Is your name readable? Not sure it's readable, actually. Looks a wee bit dodgy. Are you a wee bit dodgy? The Industrial Revolution and the consequences have been a disaster for the human race. Well, the Industrial Revolution was started in my hometown of Greenock. James Watt, greetings from Turkey. We love you. I love Turkey. I want to broadcast to Turkey. Fantastic. You're still on the radio, mate. We're definitely listening again. Stuart, uh, we're not on right at the moment, but apparently there's a job in the offing. So that's uh, all I can say about that. Fantastic. Yep, you wouldn't think it. <laughs> so there we are. Dinky do. Thank you, Jane. Lovely to have you with us. Just joined. What's the topic, says Chris? We're discussing the Harry and Meghan interview. Going to watch it tonight and see what's actually going on. Come and visit Kenya. Kenya. Kenya, Jane. I would love to. One of my favorite teachers taught for 20 years in Nairobi. There we are. And he used to talk so fondly of Kenya. I would have loved to have gone to see it. I am from Glasgow as well, dinky do. Here's Hiya, how are you? <laughs> Lovely to have you with us. Are you dinky do? What? Are you dinky do? Sounds like my dad. <laughs> Your dad? Fantastic. Come Lovely on. to see you. Are you Come powdering on. your nose? What? Are you powdering your nose? Powdering your own nose. Oh, no, I'm taking uh, my fake tan off. Oh, you're taking your makeup off. I've, I've, I've took mine off. Oh, you look beautiful. Naturally beautiful. <laughs> Lovely to talk to you. Where are you from? Newcastle. Oh, we love Newcastle. Where Scott's you know, dad. Are you like from down like the country? Gateshead. Get, get are you down the country? Rothbury. Ro eh? Where are you from? Did you say Rothbury? Did you say? No, I said where are you from? Oh, where are you from? From Glasgow, from Scotland. Oh, I thought you sounded tacky. 
but I used to. Uh, bro bro you can't say that. I used to broadcast in Newcastle. I didn't say it. Hey, Sarah. Got my album done. No, don't you worry about that. We won't. We won't be saying it again. Lovely to talk to you. Bye. Hey, Dale. See ya. Bye. <laughs> well, Amazing stuff, right? Newcastle. Who have we got here? Dinky doo. There we are. Get these chavs off. <laughs> Somebody shouting. <laughs> yes, we love Turkey. Fantastic. So there we are. Uh, and we'll come to the Bosphorus. Istanbul. So there we are. Can you say a happy 10th birthday to Terry? I can. Absolutely. No problem, William. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, so there we go. Who else have we got? Get those chaffs off. All right, Scotty. Where you been all day? Busy, busy today. Did he said he's Scottish, says Ben. Ben, where are you? What are you playing? So there we are. I am playing live stream on TikTok. Where's Wolfgang these days? I know we must get Wolfgang. I love your cat, mate. Dinky do. What did you have for lunch, Scotty? Today I had cheese on toast. Sheffield is the world's greatest city. Very difficult to argue with that. Sheffield is an outstanding city. And I had a wonderful time twice in my life. I lived in Sheffield. Fantastic. Uh, yes, I do, Kevin. Absolutely. What time's the interview? Nine o'clock. Who are you? Says Arch Ches. Arch Ches, I am Scotty McClure, the one stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Google me. So there we are. Can you play a tune on the accordion? English, please. Dinky do. VF, no problem. Miss the radio shows. Could listen while driving. Now have to pull over for TikTok. Andy, that is amazing. And can you get TikTok on your car? Rangers or Celtic, big man? Up to you at the end of the day, Nathan, but my advice would be watch them both and make up your mind which one you think's best. So there you are, Rangers, Celtic, Celtic Rangers, and you can change, you know, absolutely. Deaton, I thank you very much. Scotty, do you think Meghan is a bad influence on Harry? Well, we'll have a look tonight and make up our mind. At the end of the day, it depends what... Uh, do you know the Scottish tune, The Gale, by Dougie McLean? I do indeed. Great fan of Dougie McLean's work, actually. Where in Scotland are you from? All of it, spaceman. You're not the Bradford spaceman, are you? What a wonderful guy he was. Absolutely. So there we are. They can watch telly in Afghanistan because of the Taliban. The Eric, settle down, sir. There we are. How are you, good sir? Lovely to see you, says Chris. Chris, thank you for that. And Dinky-Doo, do you want to tune on the accordion? We've got it here. Would you like a tune? Here's the accordion. Tell me if you'd like a tune. I'm only going to play if you'd like me to play it, right? Because I had a guy saying he didn't like the noise. So I'm only going to play if you want me to play it. So I'll put it aside... And you can decide if we're playing the accordion or not. How are you, good sir? Good to see you. Fantastic. Jim Stephen Gibbs live. Guys, can you all follow me, please? Very important. There's a bit of blurb. Bit of blurb. You're watching Scotty McClure, First Lord of the Internet, live on TikTok. Follow, like, share the videos. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And then we turn it over and it says, follow me. So please actually do it. It's very, very important. Also, subscribe to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. When I say subscribe, it's absolutely free. Absolutely free. The Scotty McClure YouTube channel. That's what you'd put into your search engine. 1,200 videos for your enjoyment, edification, excitement, education, and delight. A great day in for all the family. Subscribe, watch, and share. So please do that, guys. Very, very important. As I say, we have thousands watching. So there we are. Fantastic. Now, yes, says Cologne Dinky Do. Say two dogs, La. Did you used to be Irish? 
Oh, many hundreds of years ago I was Irish, like the rest of the population of the world. Yes, says Paragin, yes, play it. Oh, right, play it, yes. Uh, is Megan evil in your opinion? Oh, that's a bit harsh. So there we are. Play a tune, play it, right. Okay, I'm going to play a tune. Here we go, are we ready? All right. I'll sneeze. It must be the dust in the bellows. <laughs> can you play the game? I can, but we don't want to be hit by a copyright. Scotty, why are you on at this time? Well, because um, we thought we'd pop our relics and we'd watch the interview tonight, guys. So there you go. Oh, going to sneeze again. <laughs> right, I think that must be the dust. I'm going to I maybe have to dash off if I'm going to sneeze like that. Brilliant. Why did you block me on the other accounts? It's going on. You might have said something silly. Uh, Batty's going. Hang on. <laughs> oh, I'm going to end up sneezing now. There we are, just blocking this guy. Hang on, there we go. Right, you must excuse me. Be back in a second. Oh, oh. Sorry about that. Got a fit of the sneezes. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, there you go. One more. <laughs> Here we go. A wee fit of the sneezes. There we are. Right, Scotty, did you see it kicking off with Piers Morgan today? Think you do. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. There we are. A fit of the sneezes. Thank you very much to all our Irish friends there. Uh, honestly, you need to grow up. Take your head out the gutter. <laughs> Have you ever heard anything like that in your life? Bless you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine, spaceman. I just get these fits of sneezes every so many months. Somebody told me it's your heart resetting. One more. <laughs> 
No, it must be stopping soon. That must be about eight. I think that's about eight. Bless you. There we are. Uh, do you like Harry Potter? Yes, and I believe he's a big fan of mine. Big fan of Scotty McClure. Bless you. Thank you, guys. Very much appreciated. So there we are. I think we're going to have to... <laughs> Thoughts on a united Ireland? Well, I don't think Brexit has helped, to be honest. There might be a united Ireland, but it was Edward the Seventh. no, sorry, Edward the Eighth, the guy that abdicated. It's not COVID, no, don't worry. <laughs> Who said that you had to deal with the hardened Ulsterman, and that was advice he gave to Prince Charles. So there we are. Angie, um, so there you are. You just tell them about that. Yes, good for Angie. Well done. Bless you, says Gitaev. I know. What's our carry on a sneezing fit in the middle of a broadcast? Callie, you need to grow up. <laughs> right, now see our Irish friend putting that call on. Don't put that because that's passe now. Your day has come. You've got it now, so there we are. Fantastic. Joel, never in a month of Sundays. So there we go. I think you should have a drink of water. I think I might do that. You need an antihistamine. Scotty, are you now in the Guinness Book <laughs> for the world record <laughs> for sneezing? I think I must be. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay, Colin. But you don't need to put that stuff. We're not that kind of nationalism on here. We respect each other. Here we go. Goodness sake. What a display. <clears throat> right. Do you think the royal family should stop marrying Americans? Well, if you think Mrs. Simpson was an American... So there we are. Um, I'm away from my, I'm one away from my goal. Can anyone help? I love sneezing, says Parody. Well, so do I, but not in the middle of a broadcast. You know what I mean? Now, Chio, you're the same. You need to just go and grow up and think, is this the level that you operate at? Or are you just going to live your life in the gutter? You know? Or can you do better? So there we go. It's very, very childish. Thank you, Scotty. A shout out to the famous people. God bless you. Absolutely. Fantastic, guys. Lovely to be with you. Please follow me. I've uploaded new videos for you. So there we are. Excellent. Good stuff, Galoin. Absolutely. It's very, very childish. There we are. We need to grow up on here. Guys, this is something better than you'll ever get anywhere else on the Internet. That's why I'm the first lord of the internet. Your voice is absolutely brilliant. Well played. Hey, from British Columbia and Canada. Now, there's another idiot, you see. It's Chow. Chow, I wonder if we should dump you, or I wonder if you can grow up. Guys, do you think Chow, C-E-O, can grow up, or do you think they're beyond help? Nobody's beyond help, I'm quite sure. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Lee, thank you do. Guys, please follow me and um, share all the videos. Very important. 85% of ERA <coughs> is independent. Well, I think that uh, that's a very interesting point, actually, because they just annexed the six counties. And, of course, uh, this will come as a surprise to many. But Sinn Féin, when they set up as a party, were pro-monarchist. There we are. They fancied the idea of Ireland having a monarch, which Ireland has had for thousands of years, of course. What are the old Irish kings? Excuse me a wee second. We comfort break here. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. It might be the temperature in McClue Tower, as you see. It could be that. Do you hunt? No, I don't hunt, actually. 
and I don't shoot. I'm a crack shot, but I don't shoot. So there we are. So wonderful stuff. Fantastic. Uh, no one in Ireland wants a monarch now, though. We used to have a high king in Gallic Ireland. Well, you don't know that, you see, because, I mean, maybe if it was put to the Irish people, like the guy that founded Sinn Féin, they might be pro-monarchist, you see. Shagar says, I support an absolute monarchy. Democracy is a terrible system of government. Well, Britain has had that since 1688. Who's the man behind you in the photo? That's me. There we are. That's Lord Reith the Labrador. And that's me. That's Scotty. There we are. Fantastic. You remind me of a pirate. Do you know a lot of pirates, Frost? Ah, there we are. Uh, yeah, but Sinn Féin's founder was actually an Anglo-Irish person. Which one are you thinking about? <coughs> nice photo. Absolutely. Lovely to have you all with us. Fantastic. Now, uh, we probably won't be popping up. Well, in fact, we definitely won't pop up at 9 o'clock tonight. But um, can I have a shout out to my friend Ryan? Yes, Office King Logie Bear, you can. No problem with that at all. You can shout out to Ryan, I say. Oh, that's so disparaging. No, we'll not be on at 9. But the interview goes on till 11. Do you think... I should pop up live at 11. <clears throat> Sometimes in life you need to find out what's easy and uh, what's hard, says Cumbrian. Yes, absolutely. And uh, you will find that out, of course. I find that it's easy to get a fit of the sneezes during a live TikTok, but it's quite hard to stop. Yes, give us your view, Shig Shagger. You're coming up, Chaga. Chaga chaga, chaga chaga. What's your degree in? It's an arts degree. There we are. What a nice man. Very intelligent, says Ricky. Thank you, Ricky. It's very kind of you. Can we have a shout out? Yes, I am Ryan. Oh, you are Ryan, I see. There we are. Rangers 55 titles. Scotty McClue, 29 years. <laughs> There's the badge. Have we got it? Fantastic. Awesome. The David Attenborough. Nothing is stirring in the frozen landscape. Then there's movement. It's the one occupant of the Arctic tundra, the Arctic fox. Oh, how are you? I think you do, says Calwell. Nice to have you with us. You should be the king of Alba, says Calwell. <laughs> Alba and Era. There we are. These are, these are your two kingdoms. Well, there were several Scottish kings, you see. Scotty, there'll be a clash of the titans. So there we are. If you come on at the same time as the interview. Well, I'll maybe check the available audience during the interview. Vote Scotty for the king of Alba. Impressive, says Husa. So there we are. Fantastic. Spaghetti bolognese, says Paraging. You can't beat it. Spag bog. Uh, shout out for my sister Pauline, please, Scotty. Charlie, a pleasure to shout out to Pauline. So there we are. My gramps is from East Weems and Kirkcaldy. Need to visit soon. Well, Sir Douglas, Jimmy Shand was from East Weems. I know it. Big mining village. Yes, Weems. So there we go. Fantastic. There's Lewis from the Royal Navy. We salute you, sir. Fantastic. There we are. And um, splice the main brace, I say. Spaghetti bolognese with cheese. Oh, parroting. You're overdoing it a bit now with the cheese. Fantastic. You're on early in the week now. Well, Ashley, no, we just popped up tonight because of the interview tonight. But, uh, you know, there's a guy saying, Sir, you are a joke. I don't think, which joke? Which joke were you thinking of? Eh, there were two world leaders, went into a bar. Was it that sort of joke? So there we are. What about you, Sir? Are you a joke? I think the joke might be you call yourself Sear, but you don't see anything. You can't see it. So there we are. Fantastic. You've got an Irish surname. I don't like your profile picture. So there we go. Right. Well, start liking things. You know, let's have a lot more joy on here. Ha, 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 this is See ya. An unfunny one. 
Oh, well, why are you watching then? There you are. Were you hoping for a laugh from a serious man like myself? Fantastic. There's Lucy joining us. Thank you, do. Are you a farmer? Uh, I've done a bit of farming, actually. Yes, indeed. A little bit of farming. Very good. But it was a long road to furrow, I'll tell you. So there we are. Uh, had a, what was this one? Rogue. You're in the wrong place, Rogue. We'll have to block you. Rogue's getting blocked, guys, for being a filthy, dirty midden. Bye-bye, filthy, dirty midden, Rogue. Oh, gone, gone. Okay. He's gone. That's him. Now then. Uh, what interview is that? This is the one with Harry and Meghan by Oprah Winfrey. A proper Loch Lomond boy. Oh, yes. I'll take the high road. You take the low road. And I'll be in Scotland before you. It's a very sad song, that, actually, to be quite honest with you. Uh, the the body banks of Loch Lomond. Guys, have you all followed me? And have you subscribed to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel? Right? Get yourselves on that. Hi from Japan, says Koharu. Koharu. Yes, I say to you, Dinky Do from Japan. Lovely to have you with us. Aha, I got you, says Ashley. Very, very good, but you didn't actually, because uh, we decided not to. So there we go. Fantastic. Now, uh, blocked for being a filthy, dirty midden. Absolutely, Charlie. We blocked him for being a filthy, dirty midden. We don't want filthy, dirty middens on here. So there we are. You blocked me on my vegan teacher account. That's because you kept spamming, sending the same thing. Sarith says I am from South Africa. There we are. Whereabouts in South Africa are you from? Go on for saying that. No, no. Uh, that's Oh, yes, that's right, because you were told not to. So there we are. But we're fine now. What's a midden? A midden is a Scottish dustbin. <laughs> a filthy, dirty midden. Have you had your vaccination? Uh, no. Uh, I'm too young, apparently, to be vaccinated. What a legend of a man, says Charlie. Dinky do, Charlie. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. Fantastic. Do you like the pop-ups, guys? Is it your kind of thing for something just a little bit different? That's what I say. Just something a little bit different. <laughs> we like all that. So there we are. Are you Lowland Scott or Highland Scott? Well, I'm a mixture of both, you see, because I've lived in the Lowlands, but I'm from the Highlands. Uh, you're too young. You look 60, 70. That'll be, I'll be about that. Uh, we don't really know because I was actually knitted by my grandmother. I wasn't actually born. Here's Katie. We'll see. What Hi, lovely to see you. How are we? Good, how are you? <laughs> Fabulous, absolutely. Where are you from? Somerset. 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 We know Somerset. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, right down there. Oh, what a beautiful part of the world. We say dinky do to Somerset. And there's Whoa. the farmer just gone by. The it's farmer's good. just gone by in Somerset. I, I'm actually a farmer. My dad's a farmer. I'm a farmer. Same. My dad that. used to be a, a farmer, but he retired. Well, Fantastic. He retired quit the job. I'm we love 16. it. You grow beautiful I'm apples. I'm 16 and I can drive a tractor. That's impressive, isn't it? <laughs> very, very impressive. Lovely to talk to you and dinky do. Yeah. Dinky do. There we are. Fantastic. Taunton. Whoop, whoop. Oh, you've got a combine harvester. There we are. Fantastic. Hi, Scotty. Dinky do. So there we are. Celtic winning the league next year. Yes, as long as they behave and don't go into the town. I hope your day has been amazing as you are. Thank you, Bex. What a lovely thing to say. Dylan, you never, ever, ever, ever ask anybody their pronouns. That's their business. So there are Dinky Doo from the Clan McClure. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. There's Ben joining us from 1872. Oh, you're quite an old chap, Ben, I have to say. If you're just joining us, guys, it's Scotty McClure popping up on TikTok just for you, just to say hi. Marvellous stuff. There's uh, Daniel saying Celtic, Celtic, Celtic. Absolutely, yes. We need to balance that, of course, by going Rangers, Rangers, Rangers. Do you see what I mean? Have you been to Taunton? I've been to Taunton. 
Yes, I know Zomerset very well. Had some cider. There we are. Um, now, who have we got up oh, the Celtic? There we are. Are you familiar with Rhodesia, Scotty? Uh, you'll be talking Zimbabwe, the breadbasket of Africa as was. Now, Ditton, you need to really, really, really think, is that where your intelligence lies? Do you think that Scotty McClure has been broadcasting for 36 years on national television and radio is going to come out with something like that? Mm -hmm. You're better than that, so I'm not going to ban you, but you do need to grow up. Okay, okay. There we are. Fantastic. Imagine being a Murphy and supporting the Rangers. No, Charlie, you can change. You can support Rangers one day, Celtic the next. You can do what you like. Nobody minds. You don't have to support the same team all your life. Tintin, get your head out of the gutter, Tintin. So there we are. You're Scottish, but support the IRA. No, the IRA, Ben, grew out of the Republican Brotherhood. You know, the IRA finished at the peace process. You know, don't be fooled by any wee Neds causing trouble. Uh, Scotty, Catholic or Protestant, well, you see, it's all Christian. So it doesn't actually matter whether you're Catholic or Protestant or Baptist or Congregational, uh, you know, Church of Ireland, Church of Scotland, the Catholic Church. It's all one holy Catholic Church. You are a Christian. You see what I mean? So there we are. Um, so, no, nobody should support the IRA because there's no requirement for violence. No requirement at all. You know, you'll find that these are just people that haven't quite developed their intelligence yet. So there we go. Uh, so I don't support any terrorism or any of that nonsense at all. Talking is the way ahead. John Hume was your man in Ireland. Scotty loving the hat with the badge. Dinky do. Dad's from Scotland, says Ben Murphy. Yes, most people in the South support the old Irish. Yeah, going way back to 1916 when they felt very hedged in, you know, that sort of thing. But uh, down where Michael Collins and that lot are from. The old Irish a hundred years ago were heroes. Um, well, it depends on which way you look at it. I mean, for instance, who shot Michael Collins? We need to know about that. Will you be live at 9 p.m. tonight, Scotty? Says Michael. Michael, um, I'm not going to pop up at 9. I'm going to have a look at the interview on the telly, and maybe we'll comment. My great, great granddad was in the old IRA. Well, there you are. I can remember a guy saying his great grandfather uh, retired from the IRA and the British paid his pension. Are you from Cork? I love Cork. Uh, so there we are. I love your YouTube vids, Scotty. I'm going to subscribe to Scotty McClue on YouTube. Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Everybody get subscribing. So there we are. Guys, I'm going to push off now. It's coming up to half five. And uh, have a wonderful, wonderful evening. If you're all watching the interview, we'll maybe discuss it later. But it'll probably be about 11 o'clock or something before we could do that. What's under your hat? Lots and lots of secrets, Jason. And I'll keep them under my hat, you know. Absolutely. So there are Richard. You need to grow up. Yes, you need to go and grow up. All right, uh, we'll block you just now, and you can come back on when you're older. Fantastic. There we are. That's Richard gone, guys, for being an idiot. Okay. Uh, good luck, Scotty Dinky. -doo. Thank you, Michael. All the very best to you. And uh, from me, Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo, guys, have a great night. And there's Chasable telling them to grow up. Fantastic. God save the Queen for Commonwealth Day. Oh, yes, and congratulations to all the women watching for International Women's Day. Tremendous. Fantastic. Howling by Richie. I'm Paul Ardinky there. We're all howling, I think. <laughs> howling at the moon. <laughs>
<laughs> right, there we are. Any reveal in the two truths and a lie later? We'll do it later. Remind me when I pop up later that that's what we're doing. Guys, everybody follow me. Watch the videos. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live on TikTok just for you. Dinky do. Until then, I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir and cheerio. Thank you, dude. Goodbye, lads. Take great care of yourselves. And uh, we'll see you later. Ta-da!